are y'all doing today? Uh, I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Uh, you know, I was just walking early, and you know, I was walking to the store and everything, and I was just walking, and I was just thinking about, you know, who Jesus really is, and and what it really takes to be saved. Which um, this book right here, this book. Hold on for a second. This is called. We call this the Bible, which that word Bible is not even found in here, but it's called Holy Scripture. This is the living and breathing Word of God, but the revelation came to me while I was in my discipleship training school where it says in John 1 14 that this word was once made flesh and dwelt among us through the person of Jesus you know and that just blew my mind it blows my mind it still blows my mind today you know never gets old never gets tiring but anyway you know if you're a sinner if you're someone that's still living and doing every, everything that the world does and, and and doing you know doing the things that i used to do drinking partying smoking having sex watching porn a cussing acting a fool you know same thing i used to do before christ set me free um in order to receive real true peace real true joy real true love is that must be born again of the water and I think this is one thing that most people miss is and of the spirit John 3 and 3 st. John 3 and 3 says the gospel of John st. John 3 and 3 says that we must be born again of the water and of the spirit a lot of people have confused this thing that oh I can just go to this place we call church and which that's not biblical either um and, and i can go and i can uh, and i can uh, go down in the water and i'm saved you know but the bible says or the word of god we call it the bible man calls it bible but it's actually the word of god it says that we must be born again of the water and of the spirit that means you have to receive the spirit of christ on the inside of you which is the holy ghost you know that when you receive the holy ghost you receive power you receive power you receive deutimus supernatural ability to overcome all things did you know that do they tell you that you know and and that's how you let christ live through you not the way you act not the way you think you ought to do but allowing christ in the, through the holy ghost living on the inside of you so how do i receive the holy ghost well acts 238 says we must repent that means we must turn from our wicked ways that means we must turn away from our sins man it took me being broken all the way down before i finally looked up and said god I don't want to be this person no more and that night that same night I felt something in me it's like a match struck it's like a, a, a candle lit on the inside of me and I'll never I was never the same again when you really meet Jesus when you really love Jesus when you really are all about Jesus you are never going to be the same again you're going to change it's not something you have to do it's something that he does and has already did through the cross and his blood shed that's what it's all about you know it's not about religion it's about a relationship you know I it's sad it's sad you know today you know I had a discussion with a person to tell you know just telling them where we're located as, as ministry uh, that's because this is what this thing is all supposed to be about it's not about your how big your church is what what your pastor name is and how famous they is and how how glorious your how beautiful your church is and how many members you got that's not what this thing is about this thing is about finish, finishing the ministry of Jesus Christ through the Holy Ghost. Move to the book of Acts. It's all right to read Matt, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But at some point, you got to move past that and get to the book of Acts. You need to be taught about the Holy Spirit. You need to receive the Holy Ghost.
which is the kingdom of God on the inside of you. You have a kingdom. You'll have a kingdom. Peace, joy, righteousness, everlasting peace, joy, and love, bearing the fruits of the spirit. That's what this thing's about, the ministry of Jesus Christ. Anyway, I was telling somebody about where our ministry is located, and they asked me, well, what religion are you? I straight told them, we're not religion. We believe in finishing the works of Christ that he gave us to do on this earth through the Holy Ghost, like the book of Acts. Yeah, but what are your beliefs? What are our beliefs? We believe in what the Bible says. Yeah, but many people have their own beliefs. Now, whatever this says, we should just take its word for what it says and obey it. That's what we're supposed to do when it comes to this word, this book. This is the living, breathing word of God. This book was once flesh. This book was once a man named Jesus Christ who walked the earth 2,000 years ago. Came straight from heaven. And he walked the earth. And he walked in power. And he showed 12 brothers the, his power. And he taught him how to walk in that same and he taught them how to walk in that same power, healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out demons, cleansing the lepers. That's what we're supposed to be doing. There shouldn't be too many more deaths. I'm hearing about too many deaths, and it's sad, man, because we are the church. We as the church are supposed to be healing the sick, and one of it was raising the dead. We're supposed to be able like Smith Wigglesworth, look him up. We're supposed to be able to throw people against the wall. I know we probably, you know, I know that's a little crazy, and <laughs> that is, but it's, hey, that man rose from the dead. He took a man out of casket. <laughs> that was behind like a, a clear room or whatever, and they could see him in there. He went in there, and he took that man out of the casket, threw him up against the wall, and said three times, walk in the name of Jesus, walk. And of course he slid down. And then like the third time he said, he grabbed him and put him up against the wall. And he said, by God, in the name of Jesus, walk. And he woke and they walked out of that. That man was in a casket, y'all. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Things like that. He was called the apostle of faith. But the only way we could do it is through the power of the Holy Ghost, which is the very person of Jesus. Not to be, we're not supposed to be this separated. There's too much division in the church. It is sad. I got sad about that today because there's so much division. We want to believe in everything about the Bible. We want to have our own beliefs about the Bible instead of believing actually what it says and actually obeying what it says. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're not supposed to be believing what we want to believe about it. We want, we, we're we supposed to be believing, taking the word of God, and obeying. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And speaking the word of God by faith. That's what we're supposed to do, be doing as the church. Not going to a building every Sunday and Wednesday. Not doing this traditional thing. We're supposed to be out preaching the kingdom of God unto the poor, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know, that's what we're supposed to be doing, and, you know, when I prayed that, you know, God gives us more revelation, you know, he, his hand moves, I, I want to see Athens, Alabama, myself flipped upside down, and I know what's going to happen, you know, but, but we, we got to wake up, and, you know, we, we don't need to be so divided, you know, have this church, we call it a church, which the church is not the building. The church is you. You're the church because you're the tabernacle. You're the temple of God. We shouldn't have this this name on this. We're Pentecostal. We're, we're, we're a pedestrian or whatever it is. Uh, you know, whatever it is. We're, we're this Baptist, Methodist, preliminary missionary and all that. We're not supposed to be all of that. We're supposed to be the ministry of Jesus Christ in the Holy Ghost. That's what we're supposed to be. And I love y'all. Pray y'all have a blessed day. In Jesus' name.
and I pray you understand what I just said. <laughs>